Hey everybody, Andy from Tennis Euphoria, bringing you a review of the Selinko Blackout. This video will cover the standard length version. Why am I bringing this video out now? It's not a new racket after all. Uh, well, it won the day recently for a customer who went through our custom matching process. Their category after um, analysis and the first stage of that process that we do was squarely in that 100 square inch, 300 gram but standard length category. There's some real stiff competition there, of course, lots of options on the market. Uh, and against all of those in um, play tests, both from a performance and a sort of preference um, point of view, um, subjectively for him, he picked the uh, blackout. So I thought it a good time to um, use the opportunity to take some clips with the demo version that we have here and get a review out. Um, if you were to look at Selinko's description of their technology, then you have um, high modular 40T carbon fiber at 3 and 9, uh, liquid crystal dampening technology. Uh, you then have a sort of beam design which is um, optimized to max power at 5 and, and 7. Um, how does all that translate for hitting experience? Well, I think um, in terms of power, because that's an obvious place to start with this being a unashamed power category, it's worth keeping in mind that our demo is a little bit um, overweight, so it's probably you know extra stable, but is um, still roughly there with swing weight, so relatively easy to swing. But um, in terms of power, then I would say that this is comparably power, powerful um, with a pure drive uh, or a Wilson Ultra or the sort of frames that you would put into the same category. Uh, one area that it is subtly different, however, I think comes down to the aerodynamics um, in the beam design. So I always find that you get a slightly higher launch angle with the blackout compared to the, the Wilson Ultra uh, or the Pure Drive. Um, it's not quite a comparable um, launch angle that you get to a um, Pure Aero or a Head Extreme um, MP but it's not far off them, it sort of sits somewhere in between and I think that is potentially a good thing for the right player. So if uh, somebody would really benefit from an all-out power frame and is looking for a little bit of extra consistency over net, then that's uh, you know a good thing. I suppose the downside to that when I'm considering um, power and in the context of baseline hitting, then I do think partly because of that launch angle, you do need to have um, some spin generation in your technique technique uh, in order to keep that ball down and in and benefit from that launch angle. So if you're someone who is an intermediate player, learning player, um, you know, aging player maybe, who's looking for all out power just when you're sort of getting to balls and looking for something to return with the easy depth, um, or if you're looking for um, all out power on pure flat strokes, then I actually think that the pure drive and the Wilson Ultra um, are better options for you. So there's you know, a kind of subtle difference with the Blackout compared to a couple of its key competitors, certainly in, uh, through, in my opinion, an interpretation. Um, so wider feel and control. I do feel like you can get quite well connected uh, with the Blackout, so you can be quite creative and if you're hitting with a bit of spin uh, then you can find your spots. Uh, strings are really important, I'll come back to that at the end. Um, how about comfort? With these power frames that's always an area of potential you know, concern I guess. I would say that the Blackout is... Um, potentially risky for some people who might be prone to um, tendonitis and tennis elbow. For me it's kind of sitting on the outer reach of what's okay and um, if I don't string it with the right string then it could give me some issues. I, I think I sort of feel it a little in my tendons. Um, I did have tennis elbow about six months ago, recovered it and developed it um, for some uh, strange reasons really. Um, grip size that was too small ultimately um, in a review um, but that's all recovered um, this is the first time I've had an extended hitting with a frame where I was just starting to feel a little bit of soreness not not tennis elbow and full-blown tendonitis oh, but I was me. aware let's Thank say um, in terms of um, stability that's where the blackout you know is really strong I think sometimes that's why it might be um, sort of billed as a good double stick I can kind of see why people would say that um, you know good power um, on your ground strokes nice launch for consistency but then you know rock solid stable at the net so good on volleys um, the one thing however that um, I've got supported by a tiny little bit of data here is that um, I don't get as much um, 
case on my flat serves with the blackout compared to the other power frames that are out there and that's um, supported by what I've seen with people go through the custom match process when we've had the speed gun out and um, served flat with the blackout um, against some other frames then there's less MPH um, and I think that's something to do with that beam being pretty thick and the aerodynamics optimized for racket out in front of you and to the side of you so ground strokes volleys you know really quick through the air and punchy but when it comes to you know that end pronation and um, the racket going um, above your head and, and through I think it's a little bit slower through the air um, so and you feel that in um, a little less pace compared to maybe a, a pure drive for example on a flat first serve um, so that's something to keep in mind and in many respects then I kind of always feel that this frame is actually a you know really good baseline as stick if you're not looking for all out spin or all out power or kind of bits of both um, people who are looking at the extreme MP the aero and perhaps going to hit a pure drive as well um, you know they should absolutely look at this and conversely people who are looking at the pure drive uh, Wilson Ultra and then might hit an aero to compare then check this out because you know it kind of sits a little bit um, in between in some respects um, one thing that you could compare it to is my current racket of choice the diadem um, uh, Nova. Uh, I of course prefer the Nova. Um, I, I find it a bit more comfortable. It's a bit faster through the air. I get more MPH on my serve with the Nova as well. Um, I don't get as much all-out power on my ground strokes, and I can control it better. Um, and uh, you know, I love that frame. Sometimes there's an X factor, isn't there? But I think the Selinko. Um, within the power racket categories is something that I could play with. You know, I don't particularly get on well with the um, um, Ultra or the Pure Drive, for example, because, um, you know, they'll fly, they'll fly on me a little bit. Um, and then I also feel that, um, you know, I, 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 whilst I have a relatively flat stroke on my floor hand, for example, I do hit with some spin and um, the blackout is, is better in that regard. I can get more out of it. So an interesting frame, one not to be ignored at all. I think it is a you know, really good option and it does always do quite well against the, um, the, the main competitors. With regards to strings, so um, I actually think uh, that a relatively durable spin orientated string in the mains is a good option with the blackout to accentuate that spin potential. But then softening that down in the crosses is important. So similar to how I've been stringing my diadem, a sort of softer rounded poly is a good option um, in the crosses to soften that down. Um, uh, so good options might be something like um, Luxlot Savage or um, MXV Hex uh, in the mains. Uh, and then you could soften that and get a bit of control out of maybe something like Headlinks Touch, Yonex Polytor Air, or even Head Sonic Pro, I think is a good sort of soft rounded poly option in the crosses and go a little bit lower um, with the attention in those crosses um, just to I mean, maximize snapback and get a little bit more comfort out of that as well. Um, Prestige is coming up, um, hitting with all of them at the moment, having an interesting time hitting all of those. So subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. And if you're thinking about the Slinko, check out all things tennis and use code Tennis Euphoria for a discount on your purchase. Um, subscribe to the channel for the Prestiges. They'll be out um, over the next two weeks. And see you in the next one.